three to four people were involved in in this 28 Steps of Success. And man, how software truly is king. I talked about that for so long. And it's truly the case. What's it's happening, buddy? Sound. Well, it sounds like you weren't cutting any corners back in the day. <laughs> you were you were setting out all the steps to success, and but you've uh, you've reduced it by quite a few steps now. You know, not cutting corners. What what's actually super cool, Campbell, is through software, it's given me more capability. Just like the the devices that we talk uh, about on a regular basis, and actually, we're going to talk about one of our favorite ones. Mr. Ring is in the house today. And so we're gonna be talking about uh, Ring products. But not only was I able to reduce the amount of manpower, as well as time, days that it took to, to do 28 processes of steps, we're able to reduce it down to one person just by using software. And it's given me the ability to uh, do online bill bill payment or invoicing as well as uh, scheduling reminders through texts. I mean, just all kinds of cool stuff. So not only manpower, but expands its capability. So super excited. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, that's where, you know, business has evolved and, and the smart home industry and the smart home platforms and products, they've evolved as well. And that's why we're Sticking to what we talked about last week, the simplification is the new integration. Right. And that is just stuck in my mind all week, Gamble. That is such (laughs) a catchphrase for what clients are actually asking for. They want simplicity and they want it to be easy. And honestly, As integrators, you don't hear a lot of integrators say this, but we encourage our homeowners to maybe dabble, try these projects on their own. Do a doorbell install. Do a camera install. I actually gambled before I got here. I had a client call me, and he's like, "Uh, JJ, my wife, I, I found you on Google. My wife, she's like, honey, find somebody, call somebody, let's get this TV on the wall. And he was just telling me the pain, the frustration of him taking all day to install a 55 inch TV on an arm bracket. And, and he bought an arm bracket and a flat bracket, which is smart because he just didn't know which direction he wanted to go. And I think he went with an arm bracket. And when he went to turn it on, there was a defect with the television and the TV didn't work out. After all that time, you know, there was something not working with the TV. And then he also has a Bose sound uh, bar, a beam that he wants to attach to the bottom of it. And, you know, there just comes a point to where you just, you know, I want to just enjoy the technology and and we want to encourage our clients. There are some things that you can definitely do. If not, if you don't know, reach out, find yourself a home tech pro. Chris Gamble and myself are two you know, pros that have been at it for quite some time. Gamble, you've been at it for quite some time. Tell us a little bit. Tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to get into this. Yeah, so based in, in the UK with the accent, and I've been installing home technology for 15 years now, running my own business. Prior to that, military technology, commercial telecom equipment. So go back 20-plus years of installing technology, uh, seen it all, you know, been punched by every piece of technology you can imagine and and just keep coming back for more and, and still enjoy providing the best technology experiences we can for our customers in their in their homes and you know keeping them secure, warm, entertained and connected. Absolutely. And they can find you on your website over there. Yeah, so we're at customized.uk.com, but probably the best place to find us is on Instagram at customized1. Yeah, that website and Instagram. Your Instagram is fire, man. I love going over there. Y'all are always posting fantastic pictures of your work and just communicating the why. Why somebody should maybe take this uh, the the road that you have already paved for them to make it easy, make it simple, make it make it painless 
Um, we're, we're trying to do the same thing over here in the state scandal. I'm JJ Cannon, owner of Digital Delight. You can find us at digitaldelight.com. Uh, we do have a Instagram page at Digital Delight One and a YouTube channel at Digital Delight. I think if you just search Digital Delight, you'll you'll find us in there somewhere. Uh, but Gamble and I, we get together once a week. Uh, we try to get together once a week and put together this fantastic show called the Digital Ramble Show. And we talk about experiences that we have on a regular basis with, with our clientele, as well as the home technology solutions that we're providing them. The good and the bad, the painful, as well as the joyful. Uh, we like talking it, <laughs> talking about it all, as well as our industry and uh, how important or to, uh, to know that there are other home technology professionals like ourselves around the country and around the world that can absolutely help you with your home technology needs. Uh, if you wanna hear more about what Gamble and I have done uh, and have spoken about, check us out on our website at digitalrambleshow.com. Uh, you can always hit us up on the email at uh, digitalrambleshow at gmail.com or you can listen to us on 11 different podcast streaming services. Most popular is like uh, Spotify, Apple Music, and then uh, Anchor.fm is, is a favorite because you can actually leave a voice comment on there. Yeah, and we have some fun fun listening to them. So shall we get into this one, JJ, episode 145? Yes, sir. Let's do it. So really where I want to start is, is to overlap from last week's episode, because yeah. one of the integrations we talked about with the Lutron lighting systems, which, which we expanded on and we, we talked about the benefits of that. One of the integrations, and it's a key one, is, is the integration with Ring and that combination of your lighting and your security products, enhancing both really, you know, the, 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 the benefits of lighting being a, a security feature, but also using the technology built into a ring product, a camera or a doorbell, using that as a motion detector or a doorbell press to trigger lights. So an outdoor sensor, which ring at Lutron don't have, but using the sensor built into the ring product, you, you're talking to two, between two products without integration, literally plug and play username password link devices joined simplification is the new integration and ring is one of those products like lutron that makes it simple they make it absolutely easy to do and uh, they create an ecosystem that allow you to do a variety of different tasks as well as solutions um, we embraced Ring many years ago, Gamble, uh, you as well. Um, and, and when they were on their, their uptick, they, before they exploded, and now definitely they're, they're on a different level. And since they have been on a different level, they have continued to grow and to expand their simplification of their integration and what i mean by that and and it's easy to see on on our side uh as as integrators because we're implementing a variety of different uh solutions in different in different verticals uh, but but one of the, the the biggest ones was was obviously the video doorbell and then they uh, expanded that gamble to um floodlights and then their spotlight cameras and then their stick up cameras and then now you have a camera for us that you can power over poe uh, which is power over ethernet so you don't need a to hard a hard wire cam, uh, uh, power wire to go to it yeah and that's you know they have different products for different installation scenarios and that's where it's a flexible product for us and it's a flexible product for for diy installations you know if you need a camera quickly they have battery powered cameras you got to keep that battery charged you've got to have good wi-fi if you can run a cable for power it might be that you're able to run 
very low voltage cabling like USB uh, to a nearby power outlet. And you can have USB power plus Wi-Fi connection to the camera. Our preference as installation professionals is to circumvent the Wi-Fi connection and give it hardwired network and power running into a network switch. And that's where we use power over ethernet cable. And you've got the robustness of the wired data connection with a constant power source as well. And that's where their elite products, and they're typically tagged with that, the elite doorbell and the elite stick up cams. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then I also like, you know, we're talking about how Ring is always expanding and, and keeping it simple. They expanded into the alarm market and and they kept the one of the biggest things that was simple was they kept the pricing extremely simple which was affordable and low for either you can do an annual a real simple annual uh subscription to monitoring or you can do a very simple monthly uh, cost of subscription but with the alarm system they made it easy to to use for integrating uh, into one app not only your cameras but now also Uh, arming and disarming your alarm system, knowing which doors or windows are open or closed, if there's been motion or glass uh, break detection in your property. The other thing, Gamble, that I love with their uh, alarm system is their different sensors that they have. And one of the biggest ones for us is their water sensor. Uh, So you can put them in drip pans or under sinks or behind commodes. Hi. Areas that you might have a an, an issue or insecurity of water failure that that could cause some damage in your home. Yeah, because when you live with the Ring app, you know it's very very simple, easy to use. And on the top, you've got kind of like segments or or highlights where you've got you know uh, your, your cameras, like history events that have happened, motion detected in the backyard you know, someone at your front door, those are in your history. You can go back over a timeline and see what happened. Then you've got your alarm where you can just tap and see the status of like JJ said, doors open, windows open, uh, motion in a room, which could be peace of mind. Even when you're home, you know, the alarm's not set, but you can see, you know, as your children's bedroom window open is the the door to my study open when really who, who should, shouldn't be in there you know and next to that i've also got a tab for lighting and this is where i think ring simplified outdoor lighting in a way that they integrated the put it this way you could take a traditional outdoor light on the exterior of your home you've got that power connection to it you could remove that light replace it with a ring product that is a light and a camera. When they brought out the floodlight and the spotlight products, you just thought, wow, it's, it's taking this long for somebody to come up with this. And of hmm. course it was Ring that have come up with it because they also revolutionized the doorbell, which for a long time was up for upgrade. You know, you never knew who was there. And in this era of deliveries, how like how can somebody live without a video doorbell? Absolutely, and, and, and honestly, who knew? Why that is we, every house we, not got one? Who knew that we actually needed one? And and now that you have one, it's 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 tough to even consider not knowing who or what is at your at your front door. Um, the other the other sensor that I love with with Ring is their motion sensor because you can do a lot with it. And, and next we're gonna go on to, to, to integration into third party integration. But one thing uh, in, in internally is their, their motion sensor that you can use with all their cameras. And you can say, hey, if this camera senses motion trigger this floodlight or this spotlight over on the other side of the house or trigger recording for all the cameras whenever it senses motion on this part of the of the front door or the garage door you can trigger other cameras to to react to that internal intelligence 
Yeah, or even trigger a siren. You know, right. the, the products have built in 110 decibel sirens. In the UK and European market, for the alarm system, we've got an outdoor siren, branded ring. You, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll see we've installed this ring siren on dozens of properties. You know, typically a couple of sirens per property, front, back, side of house. And that bolstered with also sirens built into the stick up cams, the, the floodlight and the spotlight cameras. The ring of security is strong with these products and it's not DIY. It's not a little bit flaky, a bit soft around the edges. This is a robust, high performance for me, alarm system for the for, ev for the every home. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it is built as a DIY product and and I have clients uh, that'll dabble in one or two with these products. But, but whenever they really call us and gamble it is whenever they're ready to, they're moving into a new home or they're, they're in a property and they're, they're ready to make that next step. And we're putting in, you know, five or six cameras in some instances, mm. uh, along with uh, a lighting uh, system uh, or an audio type system with a television installation. So we're doing multiple things in addition to that ring uh, solution. Uh, whether it be a camera or alarm, pretty much they both go hand in hand almost all the time now. If, if we're doing cameras, we're doing the alarm or, or, or vice vice versa, unless somebody's upgrading, which is easy to do. You already have a camera system, you want to get an alarm system. It's easy to slide that right in there. Yeah, and you know, with, with the alarms, even if the, the pre-wire has been overlooked, or again, a retrofit in a house with no pre-existing alarm system wiring, battery powered, wireless, good coverage, range extender options, you know, a quick installation, you know, still, I still highly recommend a professional, even if it's just the professional knows where to put these products, like where in a room, away from the direct sunlight from a window, away from any, you know, adjusting it for sensitivity of pets, you know, and just knowing where to put these products. It's not about, oh, I've got to pay someone to do to do something which I think is straightforward. No, you're buying like all this knowledge as well. <laughs> it's not just somebody with a ladder and, and a screwdriver. You're, oh, yeah. you're paying for experience. Um, I, I've had some clients and actually this happened uh, at the end of last week and this is a this was a different instance that I'm thinking about, uh, and the client needed to order some product on Amazon, and you know that's one of the things, like you said, is trusted you know, knowledge, but we also call it trusted advisor, mm -hmm. and somebody that that you can rely on and have confidence in that if we point in a certain direction for a request, there's confidence that you know we're 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 dead on or really close. To, to get you to get you where you need and yeah man I do a lot of hand holding uh, for clients just to give them that confidence that that they are going to get to to where they need particularly when it comes to uh, to technology mm. you know you mentioned a, a brand there Amazon close yeah. ties with ring you can people can do their own research on the relationship between ring and, and Amazon but one of the key integrations for me is the integration between the Amazon products, Echo Dot, Echo Show, the Echo speakers, the the Alex A ecosystem. If you don't have your phone, tablet around, you can use your previous technology purchases. Maybe you've bought Echo Dots. They can be the chime, the Echo Show. That can be the window for you to see the front door, the back garden, it's the, the, the playroom. Yeah, it's, and it works so well because they have such a tight relationship, these these two behemoth tech companies. That that integration, it for me, is the standout one. It's Amazon working with, with Ring. I have some clients, Gamble, that uh, over, the, over the past, I have set up video access or voice access to their video cameras and so for example miss smith would say alex a show me the front door and in the kitchen she has a tabletop 
Amazon Echo device that allows her to instantly see the front door. And I forget about the importance of it sometimes until clients call me and said that there's a there's been a hiccup. Usually the hiccup is unplug the device, plug it back in and whiz bamboo, everything comes back up and up and running. But the importance of, of Miss Smith needing that, that comfort uh, and who knows, she might have it on all the time. Of, of, but the comfort of knowing what's at that front door. Uh, also being away from the home and being able to open up her mobile device and seeing that camera and uh, knowing if she uh, turned the alarm off, if she remembered to turn the alarm on or uh, is it turned off. The other, you know, the, the other thing that I wanted to make sure that we got into, because simplification is the new integration uh, for, for Ring and for us, is other products that they integrate beautifully with. Um, one of the newest for me, Gamble, uh, is the integration with third-party cameras that use OnViv and uh, IP cameras. And what that means to the common person is not only does uh, Ring have a tremendous of flexibility in solutions that they currently offer, but now there's even more opportunity of, of cameras to, to offer as far as uh, for for viewing in special need locations or areas that maybe a ring camera just can't get to. Talk me through how how can you, in, in, in very quick way, how can you integrate a third party camera? You're talking about bringing it into the ring app and yeah. viewing it? Yeah. So here in the States, a couple of months ago, uh, ring released a firmware update. And that's what's cool about our products, Gamble. I had a client, <laughs> Real quick, client asked, hey, somebody told me that these products don't last long, that you're always having to buy a new one, that you're always having to upgrade. And I said, that is what's great about the products that we provide, is that the hardware you the hardware lasts, and usually the hardware has about an eight to 10 year shelf life, but the firmware is what updates, and the firmware does all kinds of new things uh, that, that, are, that are exciting, and it's like having a new product by just upgrading the firmware. And so through a firmware update, uh, Ring has allowed uh, us to install an IP camera. And an IP camera is your traditional bullet camera or maybe a dome camera or an eyeball camera uh, in a commercial location or in a residential. That used to, the only thing that you could install uh, back in the day were those, those types of cameras. And so now you can take that IP camera feed and uh, view it and record it through the ring cloud and through the ring app. If, if, uh, you have the ring smart, uh, bridge that allows you to do the alarm system. You don't need the alarm. You just need that bridge device. Um, and maybe you can pull it up on there and, and, and show us, but it's the it's the, the the square piece that the all the alarm pieces connect to, and it's the the pro version of it here in the states. And as long as your IP cameras do 1080p output on your stream two of your of the camera itself, then it will work. The other catch is that you need to have it on a poe switch so you know when you go that level find yourself a home technology professional he'll know what to do or put them on to us tell them to listen to this uh episode of digital ramble and we for sure can get that bird dog to hunt and is this the ring ring bridge so that is the piece that is a that is a ring bridge and that is for your traditional ring floodlights. So it's a floodlight okay. that does not have a camera on it. It's just their regular floodlights. But uh, let me see if I can find something here, Gamble. And whatever I bring up here, you're gonna see on your screen. But no, type in the ring alarm, term, type in ring alarm pro two. Yeah, there you go. 
Yeah, that could be. Uh, there you go. It's, there you go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm weighted by. Yeah, you see that guy right there? Yeah. See, I'm I'm restricted by U.S. Uh -huh. U.S. U.K. And this this is this is an example. I'm going to stop there, but some products J JJ talks about. I don't have. Man, I'm sorry. Don't have some services, even these updates. You know, and and this is where, you know, sometimes you've got to limit the expectations of a customer. Where you know, I've had people talk about, you know, like last week, oh Chris, I want Ra three radio Ra three. I'm like, can't, it's not here, it's not here. It's only in the U.S. Or I want this ring integration with cameras. Sorry, you can't do it. And, or integration with gates because there's also, inter Amazon Key. Yeah. You know, we're going back back to Amazon, but this is. This is something we don't have in the UK, but I know you have it with their Pro Controller, yeah, the Access Controller. We Pro. do, and Gamble, we got like four minutes left. But real quick, I want to say a, a note to that: our manufacturers. The other thing that that not not only do we believe and we talk about these manufacturers, our manufacturers listen to us, but uh, because we work with a lot of homeowners, but they also listen to our homeowners. So. If there's something that you feel is of need, and maybe we have it here in the States, but it's not over in the UK, please, please send us a comment. We pass these comments along to our manufacturers all of the time. They want to hear your feedback if there's something that uh, that, that you're of interest or feel that you need. Go ahead, Gamble. Yes, you know, we talked about third-party cameras. The other third-party product, which I see working with Ring a lot, is, is door locks. and specifically Z-Wave, Z-Wave door locks. Have you experienced with that? Because we don't have, again, that in the UK. Smart door locks is a non-existent thing in the UK. Yeah, Z-Wave. For you guys, it's like so, so popular. Yeah, Z-Wave door locks um, put multiple. Of course, you have to shop for the appropriate ones. That's another reason you want to make sure that, that you have a home technology professional that knows what they're doing. They know what to shop for, what packages to put together what manufacturers do work together in a cohesive ecosystem that that's crucially important and, uh we've talked about that in, in past episodes so please check us out on our website yeah so you know that just highlights some of the key integrations and you know and, and the importance of these updates and, and and i encourage even today talking to a customer they said oh i never do the updates on my router i never do the updates on my sonos system and, and i always encourage automatic updates you know to get new features to get new music streaming services to get the latest feature i've got on my ring device is package detection and i've now i've always had a motion detection zone where i get alerts from now i have a new detection zone which is package detection and it works a good range about two meters from the doorbell and I will get specific alerts about when a package has been placed down in an, in that area at my front door. And I I get a lot of deliveries, you know, for work and for, for personal. And just knowing that that package is there, it means I can alert somebody at home to, to get it, or I can ask a neighbor, or I can uh, keep an eye on it during the day, knowing that maybe a, a uh, high ticket item is, is sitting on my front porch. So something up there with simplification is the new integration. Sack the rack. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know, find a home tech pro. It's on, it's, it's there gamble because right there with sack the rack, something that those legacy installers always say gamble when it comes to updating firmware, do you, do are you, what do yeah, yeah. What, what is it tell me because I, I we i don't know if we've talked about this ever but yeah, it's 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 a known what, what line that, that uh, pro will, will, will i wish we, i wish we could write it down and show at the same time because i know don't update don't, don't update, anything don't, don't do if any it works until I, until if it I works tell you. don't update yeah you're, you're gonna ruin your system I'm going to have to come and fix it all. Uh -huh, that's Don't right. update. Hey, and with yet, the stuff we, that we suggest, we, we want to update everything. We want update to update your phone, update your apps, update Sonos, Ring, Lutron. Get that updated. 
And if you don't know what updates to do, find the Home Tech Pro. We say it every week, if you don't know, find the Home Tech Pro. That's right. That's right. And again, please check us out at our website, digitalrambleshow.com or Gmail us at digitalrambleshow at gmail.com. All right. Thanks, Digital Ramblers. Until next time, have a fantastic week.